Hi, this is Dr. Greg Hickman uh, from the Andrews Institute. We're gonna, we got a young man having some thumb surgery and we're gonna do a brachial plexus block on him and get him nice and numb. We got him a little comfortable here for this block. We got a little verse set on board and we're gonna do an infraclavicular block on him. Um, with brachial plexus block or with hand surgery, you can do a brachial plexus block at three different positions. You can do a supraclavicular, you can do an infraclavicular or an axillary block. They all work uh, uh, basically similarly and you get the same results. So for hand elbow surgery, uh, we can use any, any one of those three blocks. Let's put the probe basically the same place and come in behind the clavicle, retro to the clavicle. You can see the artery there. Uh, you can see on the right side of the screen the, uh, the clavicle and you're going to come underneath that so it's the it's you're not going to see the needle till it gets past the clavicle and gets over towards the cords and there you go you can see the cords pretty well right there so that's where we're going to go i'm going to turn this around so that we're coming in from the left side like we are on the on the on the probe you get the same same view right there nice view right there you see the pec major the pec minor the subclavian artery with the with the lateral cord on the left of the artery the posterior cord down about seven o'clock don't really see it well and the medial cord over about three o'clock those are the cords we're going to just make a little u around the artery and get our local uh dispersed in that fashion okay all right going to wash off here it's a little chlorhexidine prep. Prep things up. All right. I gotta go left-handed. That's not my strong suit, but I can get it done. And big bee sting right here at the skin wheel. All right. We'll bring our stimulating needle in. People do call this the raptor because we're going retrograde to the clavicle here. Really nice view there, the subclavian artery, pec major, pec minor. And I'm going to come in under the clavicle, see where we are. It's kind of hard because the clavicle, you just have to sort of ride up on the clavicle sometimes. And when you're coming in, you see the needle there. And I want to add a little twitch with the lateral cord. I want to come back with the needle. I want to go a little deeper. Come in here. Now I'm coming up close to the artery. And I'm just going to lift up. I'll probably get a twitch right here. That's the lateral cord. Get the muscular cutaneous twitch. So just give me five right there, Rocky. One. Five cc's on the lateral cord there. And then sometimes you can go over the top of the lateral cord. Sometimes I'll come right in here between the, that lateral cord and the artery. Well, I might be getting posterior twitch there. Huh. Okay, actually, I'm just going to go back and go deeper and go underneath the artery here. Pick that up. Actually, just give me five right there, Rocky. I'll pick that up a little bit more. That's more of the lateral core. Two, three, two, three, okay. Now I'm going to come on under the artery here. Actually, the posterior cord should be down here. Well, anyway, a lot of times you don't get the posterior cord twitch, so we're just going to slide under the artery now. And if you really can't see the cords well and not sure exactly where to go and you don't get twitches, so there's our medial cord twitch. You can see the hand uh, giving us a little twitch there. So let's do five right there. There you go. Might be just pushing that nerve down, that cord down. Right. But what I was, what I was about to say was if you don't see it well, if you just go right here under the artery, you can put all 30 cc's just about six o'clock or from four to six o'clock. And um, 
and that'll make a nice U around the artery. So where's our needle right here? Now watch this, I'm underneath the artery, but I can pull the needle up. It looks like the needle's going right through the middle of the artery. It's not, we're still deep to it as I come down here. So give me, uh, let's give five more right here since we got a twitch. There we go. Try to advance a little bit. There we go. Now I'm over on the medial side of the artery. And let's do five more right there. There we go. You can see the vein on the medial side there. And I'm filling up local right between the vein and the artery. And now I'm gonna, we got five left, so I'm just gonna pull back and put this last five kind of right under the artery. I can find the needle again. There it was. Okay. Okay, looks like my tip's about seven o'clock. That's where the lateral and posterior cords should be right above and below it. So we give the last five right there at seven o'clock to the artery. Uh huh. Yep, yeah, give it right there. Nice spread there. Beautiful. Okay. So that's 30 cc's of half percent bupivacaine for the single shot brachial plexus block for his uh, thumb surgery. And uh, that will complete our infraclavicular block for this thumb surgery. Thank you.